it's summer and the weather is great. It's just this time of year that you want to spend time out in the woods with family and friends. Just camping, kicking back and chilling out. And that's just the time that you're probably likely to find yourself having to cater for a group. Doesn't matter how simple you keep the menu, you're going to end up having to juggle several pans over a fire and it can be quite a complex thing to manage. In this video we're going to look at a tried and tested method that I use for keeping multiple pans suspended over the fire. What it also does is it allows me to keep all the bits and pieces that I'm going to need in one place. It also allows me to adjust the temperature of different pans while I'm cooking. For this project, well, a lot of it you can actually harvest while you're in the woods. First thing you're going to need is three 12 foot poles. You're also going to need three six foot poles. You're going to need some cordage. And you're going to need some poles that are about four foot or so long and about two fingers wide. And the number of those depends on the number of pans that you're going to suspend over the fire. First thing we'll look at is our four foot poles. As I said, they're about two fingers thick and into these you need to carve some V-shaped notches. One at the base down here and that's going to create a hook. And that one is facing up the stick. All of the others are facing downwards. And you want about half a dozen or so of these V's cut at regular spacings for the length of the stick. The hook on the end needs to be able to hook your pan handles. With your sticks prepared and your poles cut, first thing you're going to need to do is construct your tripod. Take two of the poles and place the fat ends together, the thicker ends of the poles, and lay them down side by side. The other pole, place its thick ends the other way. Place it between the first two poles. Then slide that one back so that the three poles now overlap by about 18 inches <coughs> or so. Then all we do is using some of our cordage is simply lash around uh, the top. It doesn't have to be a, a super lashing. Um, but just something that's fairly secure. Tie it all off, and then with that done, put the tripod up. Splay the legs out so that it's, it's nice and stable and then take one of your six foot poles and lash it in place probably about eye height. The other pole, what you're then going to do at about chest height, you lash that one into place. And both of those are on the same side of your tripod. So you've now got the face of the tripod with two legs coming down, one pole at chest height and then another at head height. Now the knots for these, I keep it really, really simple. Um, I just use uh, two Canadian jam knots placing across and I find that that holds it in place really, really well. 
Also, it doesn't use massive amounts of cordage while you're doing it. Onto the lower of the two horizontal bars, what you're then going to do is tie on some little loops that are just going to hang down below. And you want as many of those as you want pans on the fire. So for each of your sticks with the V's cut in, you should have a little loop tied onto that crossbar. Now at this stage, you just want to check everything works before you light your fire. So I'm just going to take my stick with the V's cut in, making sure that the majority are paint facing downwards. And all we do, slide it up through the loop. As soon as you let go, the V catches in the cord and it hangs there. The pot goes on the other end and sits over the fire. If you want it low over the fire for a fast boil, well, you just lower it down. Once the water's boiling and perhaps you want it just simmer something, so if you're cooking potatoes or rice or a stew, you just raise it up higher. Once you've got everything ready, move your tripod into position, then light your fire. With that done, and once you your fire is established, then you start putting your pot hangers on. What this allows me to do is to have multiple pans over the fire, but I can also have them at different heights so that I'm getting different cooking temperatures. So I can have a fast boil, something where it's <coughs> off to the side and slightly warming, or maybe have it up a little bit higher where it's, it's starting to simmer nicely. So that's our lower horizontal bar. That's the one that holds the pot. But what about this one, the one up here? Well, over the years, I found that there's certain things that I wanna keep close to this area. Number one, a set of heat proof gloves if I'm going to be handling hot pans over the fire then I want to make sure that these are handy and these don't want to be living on the floor particularly as the light goes down because you're going to lose them or well, they might get wet so I stash mine up here that way I always know where they are also quite often in the evening uh, I like to have a light up in my kitchen area. Yes, I've got the light from the fire, but even so, it doesn't hurt to have a, a lantern up to give this area a nice little bit of light. So that can hang up there as well. Also, with it being up there, there's less chance of it getting knocked over or kicked. Or if you've got kids, if it's up there, it's safe and it's up out of harm's way. There's all manner of things you can hang on these. You might want to put your utensils on there as well. Usually on the other end of mine, well, that's where I normally place my axe and a saw because of those are bits that I'm going to need for helping me to maintain this fire. This makes a really good focal point for your camp. You've got the fire, you've got your safety gear, you can even put your first aid kit up there as well. I've got my saw and my axe on that end for helping me to maintain my fire. All essential stuff that makes for a really good focal point in the camp. If you've got your first aid kit up there and there's an emergency, everyone will know where this central tripod is. And you'll just be able to say, first aid kit is on the tripod. And people can go over and get it. As well as this setup being great for keeping everything where you need it and that you've got adjustable pot hangers that you can hang multiple pans, the other really great thing is the height of that tripod. 
because what that allows us to do is to run a line up over the top. <clears throat> so as well as having this great tripod, the height of that tripod means we can suspend the tarp. And in doing that, what we've created is our own little kitchen. On a hot day like today, it gives Chef a little bit of shade. When he's chucking it down with rain, it gives him a little bit of protection from the weather. And this is your own little kitchen space. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it informative. Above all, I hope you go out and use it. If you did like the video, then remember, hit the like button. Share it as well. This is a great setup. Can't see why more people don't use it. It really is really easy to do and really, really efficient. As always, my email address uh, is on the end of the video if you want to get in touch about anything that you've seen here or perhaps you want me to come and work with either you as an individual, maybe a group or your company. I've been Neil and until next time, stay safe.